My name is Elizabeth Stevens, and I'm a pediatric and congenital cardiac surgeon at Mayo Clinic. Today, I'll be talking about single ventricle palliation and hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Single ventricle is a term to describe patients with only one functional ventricle as opposed to two. In this diagram, on the left is a heart where there's a missing wall in between the two ventricles. So the heart functionally acts as if there's one ventricle. Here, I've drawn in where the wall would normally be. On the right is a heart with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, in which the left ventricle is severely underdeveloped. So again, the heart acts as if there's only one ventricle. The traditional pathway for palliation for patients usually consists of three stages, which I'll review. These three stages are relatively standard for hypoplastic left heart syndrome patients, but for patients with functional single ventricles of other types, the first stage can vary depending on their specific anatomy and physiology. We use the term palliation because we are not restoring normal anatomy and physiology. Instead, we are creating a circulation that the patients function relatively well with, but is different from normal. Stage one, commonly called the Norwood, has several components. First, the aortic arch is reconstructed, so now the single ventricle has one unobstructed outflow to the head and the rest of the body. This is done by combining the aorta and the main pulmonary artery and patching the aortic arch. You can see that in this diagram, the pulmonary arteries are not connected to anything, so next we need to provide the lungs with blood flow. This is done with one of two shunts. Shown here is a BT shunt in which the pulmonary arteries receive blood from the aorta. This is a Sano shunt, also called a right ventricle to pulmonary artery shunt, in which the blood comes from the ventricle into the pulmonary arteries. The choice of which shunt depends on the specifics of the baby's anatomy. The Norwider stage one is the biggest of the operations and requires the longest period to recover. As you can see, after the stage one, the baby is completely dependent on the shunt for blood flow to the lungs, so it's very important that this stays open. Because of how the circulation is arranged, the baby will not have saturations near 100%, but a healthy Norwood baby will have saturations that are lower and be somewhat blue. Stage two is also called the Glen, and in this case, the shunt is taken down and the superior vena cava, which drains blood from the upper body, is connected to the pulmonary arteries providing the lungs with blood flow. This is a much more stable circulation, but we can't do this as a newborn because the resistance in the lungs is too high. After the glen, there is less volume that the heart has to handle. You will notice that the blood returning from the lower body still returns directly to the heart and goes out the aorta. The glen is performed from three to six months of age and is a lower risk procedure with a much more rapid recovery. The patient will have saturations that are still lower than normal babies because of the blue blood from the lower body going out the aorta. The last stage is the Fontan. This procedure is generally done between two and four years of age. In this procedure, the lower body blood is now connected to the lungs so that now all the blood return of the child goes directly to the lungs without the assistance of a pumping chamber or ventricle. This passive blood flow requires the lungs to be good with low resistance. The Fontan operation is also lower risk than the stage one and has a shorter recovery, although fluid on the lungs can prolong the hospital stay to some degree. Many surgeons will put a hole or fenestration in the Fontan, allowing a small amount of blue blood to pass into the ventricle and out the aorta. Therefore, these patients usually have slightly decreased saturations and are slightly blue. The outcomes for our Fontan patients have improved as we've optimized surgical techniques and management. Once patients make it to the Fontan stage, 20-year survival is 75 to 80 percent. Throughout this palliation pathway, there's the possibility that the heart will not tolerate the palliation, and patients may need a heart transplant. This can occur at any point along the pathway, but is most common after the Fontan. The most important factor for those who do need a heart transplant is to be referred early enough such that the other organ systems are still performing well. We at Mayo continue to strive to improve care for those patients using an extensive research database and exploring novel techniques and therapies. I hope you have found this helpful. We do have a variety of resources for patients and their families related to a number of conditions and operations. Some of them are listed here and are found on Mayo YouTube channel and our website.